Painting for me is being alive to the world. What I'm really after is that experience of engaging with what I'm seeing. As a landscape painter and a painter of nature, it's more than what I'm seeing, it's what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling, and that whole experience of being outside or even looking out the window and hearing the birds and feeling the wind and the wet grass <laughs> under your feet. That's really why I'm doing it, I believe. It's, it's having that kind of full engagement with the world. My first memorable landscape experience was the home I grew up in. I felt like every month or so there would be a new surprise and we would anticipate the blooming of the dogwood in the springtime and we would anticipate uh, the forsythia being one of the first things that would bloom in the early spring and I would be so excited to see the bulbs coming up. So I think the childhood yard being a place of beauty and wonder and discovery really, really hooked me into the, the, the magic of plants and, and the beauty of landscape. In creating the landscape here at my home, I feel like the trees really hold the memories of different times in my life, uh, particularly my son growing up. I remember very much the times when we would plant a tree together or we would put bulbs in. And I think about the, the different stages of his life and when we would take pictures of him as a little child in the yard. And then before you know it, we're taking a prom picture in the yard and then his graduation picture in the yard. And I, I do really feel like the trees hold those memories. So much of our life and all the events of our family buying this house and bringing our little boy here and watching him grow up, um, it's all reflected in the landscape. And I, I think that's why it's so important to me to um, make my work right here. As an observational landscape painter, my first impulse is always to want to capture the moment. I'm falling in love with that first slant of light and these very specific shadow shapes. But of course, as I'm working, the light is always changing and nature is in flux. And if I'd like to sustain the painting beyond more than just a sketch or a study, I need to let go. And when I can allow myself to do that, then the painting can become more about being with the thing I love over time and responding to that as it comes. And when I'm able to do this, the process becomes so much more peaceful. And at the same time, the painting has the opportunity to become so much more dynamic, layered, and interesting. I think one of the things that has really attracted me to painting plants is the complexity. I love complexity and the complexity of leaves and twigs and branches is not only visually exciting for me, but it also invites that experience of immersion. And when I feel immersed in what I'm observing, that is when the struggle drops away. My self-consciousness drops away and I can feel completely connected and in a conversation with the plants and trees and birds and wind. And that is a beautiful place to be and I think it's why I keep painting.